my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna do more brake testing and see if filament color affects layer adhesion strength. So let's have a look after the intro. So what I've done is to print 10 samples of the brake test from each color of the 12 color pack from AIO Robotics. That's a PLA I purchased a while back and I want to try out and see if uh, filament color had any effect on uh, layer adhesion. And I really have no idea if I'm going to get different results or, or same results. But I think it's a good test to try out. So, so what I've done is to print out 10 samples for each color. So it's a, all, the, all the colors from the 12 pack and I'm going to start breaking the test and record the results and I'll do a time lapse of the breaking and, and show you my findings. So those are my findings with the different values for different colors. Here the pink and dark blue colors are have the lowest values and the light blue, purple and yellow have the highest value and a lot of values are around 5.0 and, and just above or just under but those two colors stand out pink and, and dark blue as the lowest colors and then light blue, purple and yellow are the strongest. So I don't know the chemical properties behind this but this seems to be my result. I was not maybe expecting a much uh, difference between colors but uh, this is quite, quite a difference from 4.5 to 5.4 so it's some different, uh, it's a measurable dis difference at least. So for this filament, light blue and purple and yellow are the strongest one. So you could take that into account if you're trying to get stronger PLA parts to test for different colors. It might, it might have a difference. So that was my test on layer adhesion based on filament color with AIO Robotics PLA. Um, I printed all the samples with the same G-code. Um, so every sample should be the same file. So I try to minimize the difference between every test. 
and have it just by colors. So I hope this was good <laughs> in, in scientific measurements. Uh, my brake device is, is not very accurate and, and therefore I, I did 10 samples for each color to get uh, accurate uh, average number for each color. And I try to do every brake in a similar fashion, but I guess my next upgrade to this device is to try to motorize the lever to have the brake at a constant speed between each brake. It's uh, always difficult to have the handle with a hand doing the same motion or same uh, speed of motion each time. So I, I think that's a variable that I have to try to get rid of by having a motor. So I'm, I have made an order from Amazon for a motor that I hope will have enough torque to do this and uh, I might have to do some gears to do it also with the motor. It will, that will probably be an update video on the strength te test apparatus. But for now, uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and, and leave a comment if you find it interesting and, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's really appreciated. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.